in our heart to heart encounter with Jesus today, we'll be looking at the power of grace. The power of grace. The example of an encounter between a sinner and the grace of God that is found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's look at the story of the Apostle Peter, his encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 5 from verse 1 up to verse 11. One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, with the people crowding around him and listening to the word, he saw at the water's edge two boats, left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. From shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and let down the net for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. For he and his companion were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so, James, so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on you will catch men. So they pulled their, their boat up on shore, left everything and followed him. The story be, be, of an encounter between Peter and the Lord Jesus. As Peter said here, they had toiled all night. Throughout the night they labored and labored and labored and caught nothing and they actually abandoned their boats and Jesus when Jesus Christ came Jesus saw the abandoned boat they had left it and he entered that boat the boat of someone who had toiled all night and caught nothing maybe that may even be the situation of your life you have toiled and toiled and toiled in life and caught nothing and Jesus told Peter, put out into deep water. He first of all told him, put a bead, go in, into the water. And Jesus used his boat to preach the, the, the word. Then after he had finished doing that, he told Peter, put out into deep water and let down the net for a catch. And Peter told him, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. But because you say so. Because you say so, I will do it. And when he did it, they caught so much fish that their, 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 their boat began sinking. Their net began breaking. He had to call his partners to come and help him. And the Bible says, when, Pete, when Simon saw this, he fell at Jesus' feet and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. When he saw the miracle that had taken place, he knew that he had encountered a holy man. He knew that he had encountered someone who was holy, who was extraordinary. He did not begin to boast, boast of how much he had caught, how wonderful, how experienced he was. The miracles of Jesus exposed his sinfulness. And when his heart was exposed, he fell at the feet of Jesus and he told Jesus, Go away from me, I am a sinful man. To him, Jesus should not even be near him. He should not be near Jesus. 
When a man encounters the Lord and the heart of that man is touched, the first thing that happens is that God exposes you to yourself and you realize who exactly you are. Without this exposing, without you realizing the condition of your life, the condition of your heart, you will not truly be able to turn to this Jesus who came so that by grace we may encounter him. Listen to what Jesus said. Then Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on you will catch men. Don't be afraid. Peter was afraid and Jesus knew the condition of Peter. I don't know whether you have ever reached this point in your life where because of your sin, the way on your conscience, because of your sin, you were so much afraid. You even thought you were going to die. When you begin to realize the condition of your heart and you turn to the Lord and you know him as the holy God and you cry out to him, he will do something in your life. He told Peter, don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. And what did they do? They left everything and followed him. What did they do? They pulled their, their boat on the shore, left everything and followed him. That is what Jesus Christ does to every sinner. He exposes your sin. First of all, he will come, intervene. Sometimes he intervenes in your life to rescue you from barrenness intervenes in your life and expose your sinfulness and then by the power of the holy spirit you are convicted of your sinfulness and when you thought you are so useless you cannot have any relationship with him when you think that it is finished with you he tells you i came for sinners like you don't be afraid. From now on, you will be my co-worker. From now on, you will move with me. From now on, I'm going to use you. From now on, you will catch men. From now on, you are my chosen one. He comes to choose those who realize they are sick. For a physician comes is there for the sick and jesus christ is the great physician have you reached this point in your life that like peter you are crying go away lord i don't want to have anything to do with you i'm such a terrible person are you crying to god i'm such a terrible person the word of god is telling you today don't be afraid from now on you will catch men what are you to do turn to him surrender to him let him come and dwell in your heart leave everything and follow him the power of grace that captures the chief of sinners and the power of grace that transforms the chief of sinners into co-worker with the holy god the power of grace that tells you don't be afraid from now on you will catch men don't be afraid turn to him in your sinful condition he will change your heart but do not justify yourself when you realize how sinful you are you can start afresh and become a co-worker with jesus and start having this intimate relationship with jesus and start having this heart to heart with jesus though you were a sinful man